She's Australia's top female basketballer. As soon as I cross that white line, I get like white line fever. Turn into someone else who will do anything and everything to win the game. The first woman in the world to dunk at an Olympic Games. A lot of girls don't like me because of how I am on the court. 53 points! And the record holder for the most points scored in a single WNBA game. It looks too easy. And at the end of the day, I'm not out there to make friends. I'm out there to win a game. So I go hard, I get the job done, and I go home. Liz Cambage is six feet, eight inches of pure power, heart, and muscle. Not much can stop her, but this year, something did. For me, when I have a really bad panic attack, I literally can't breathe and um, hear, you know, a million voices of my self-doubt just yelling at me. So I guess it is very different to an injury. It's not a sharp pain in your leg, it's anxiety just taking over. So this year, um, I had to miss a couple of games because of my mental health. Official records said she simply had a rest for those games. But Liz wanted to set that record straight and wrote an open letter revealing why she didn't play. Tell me about the letter that you wrote in August this year where you, you talked about some struggles with mental health. My motto is live your truth. Um, so I, I, I felt it was necessary to be open and honest and write the piece. And I didn't want it to just be like, oh, like, why is Liz gone missing? It's just weird. And all my friends knew something was up because I hadn't been on Instagram for like a week. There was no stories. If I ever disappear from Instagram, I literally get messages like, are you okay? Where are you? What's going on? And it's, it's actually, it's beautiful that my friends and my family know that. I just wanted to be open and honest because it is such a thing at the moment and everyone's dealing with mental health in their own way. You personally dealing with it or have friends that are really struggling and I think me telling my story has really helped other people and that's what I want to do at the end of the day. I just, I just want to inspire people to just free their minds and chase what they really want in life. Was writing that piece cathartic in a way? I guess so. Um, I was really worried, you know, the day that it got released because I didn't know if people would take it well or take it badly because it was pretty open and honest. Um, but I think it did, a lot of people did connect with it. Um, I guess, yeah, it was, it was a big release for me. In the letter, Liz revealed her disappointment after the 2016 Olympics when the hot favourite Opals didn't make the gold medal game. Oh, we just do similar to the other day? Yeah. It was just a horrible experience. So I'm very lucky today that we have Sandy Brondello as our head coach and she's very understanding um, and just, just wants to work hard and wants us to be the best team that we can be. And our group is amazing. There's no big egos. It's just love and hard work in the Opals now and I'm very lucky to be a part of it all. Over 200 centimetres tall since she was 16, being comfortable in her own skin has sometimes been a challenge. As all teenagers growing up, I'm so lucky I didn't grow up with social media. It would have been even harder, but I loved fashion and I loved Vogue. So seeing all those glamorous, you know, skinny models, I was the complete opposite of that. I've always been a bit chubby, a bit thick, and you know, big, big, big chubby cheeks. Can I do just one on the side? Yeah, yeah, she, oh, she, she likes the dress on the side. Yeah. The waist looks so good. It took me a long time to love the skin I'm in and, and grow to love who I am. Doing those kind of photo shoots, is there ever a moment where you just stop yourself and go, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here? <laughs> when the photographer was showing me on the day how amazing all the photos were, I was like, I'm really living my dreams and doing all the things I wanted to do. So it is pretty crazy when you stop and you realise, wow, this is what I've always wanted and I'm living in it right now. So I'm very grateful to be in a position where I'm, I'm, I'm modelling and you know, a, a top athlete in my sport. 
um, and just living my dreams. Liz Cambage says she's now working on looking after her mind as much as her body as she prepares for the 2020 Olympics. I'm a big girl with a big heart and I've got a lot of love to give, but I am very cautious with my energy and who I give it to these days. So my closest friends, they know I'm like a true lioness. Like I have the biggest heart in the world, but if you step to me, if you step to any of my friends or family, like you're gonna see the lion side of me. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.